Here's why astrology is haram in Islam. So astrology is a study of the celestial bodies and the moon and the stars and that it impacts your life. And in Islam, the main thing is that you worship and you pray to the creator. So when you allow something else like the stars, the moon, all these different things that God created to be the driving factor of your life, you're doing one of the biggest sins in Islam, which is shirk, associating partners with God. So again, God is one. God is the only thing you worship. God is the only thing you fear. So when you believe in astrology and horoscopes and all these different things, you're engaging basically in the most impermissible thing there is, is worshiping alongside of God. God should be the only thing you fear and worship, and that should have the only impact on your life. Where when you're believing in a horoscope, you're believing in astrology, or when you were born in the star sign, moon sign, you're not really living up to being a true believer. Islam strictly prohibits anyone or anything believing in something else or worshiping something else other than Allah. So when you do believe in astrology, you're again committing shit. Another form of shit could be idol worship, right? So people used to do idol worship and people nowadays worship celebrities. Again, that's forms of shit. Even to call yourself a god, right? Calling yourself the goat, the greatest of all time, even that could sometimes seem as a little bit of arrogance, seem the sense of grandiose ability with yourself because you aren't the greatest thing of all time. God's the greatest thing of all time. Allah is the greatest. So again, it's this understanding of what could sort of be shirk as well, which is again, associating partners with the most high, the greatest, which is Allah. Astrology and horoscopes tend to do something else that's pretty haram in Islam, which is talking about the future or having an impact or knowing the predestiny or what's already going to happen. Oh, they're going to be so successful because they're an Aries born with the moon star sign of Mercury retrograde. But again, that's haram because only God knows predestiny. Only God knows the next step. Only God knows. But to do that is again to believe in something other than your creator. This sense of astrology or horoscopes is claiming to know the future, which is again overstepping the balance of being a human. Because again, we don't know, only God knows. Also, another thing that it does is diverts trust from Allah, diverts trust from the creator. When you're not trusting God's plan, when you're not trusting it, and you're looking for other reasons of why this could be happening for the moon, the stars, the this, the that, you're diverting that trust from the oneness of God, which is again, you have to do that to be spiritually inclined and be spiritually together with God. And again, as a Muslim, it is inconsistent to believe in astrology and have this shirk and horoscopes because then you're associating partners with God and not only that, you're saying that the adjustment of the moon, the stars, and then whatever it is, is impacting your life and it's not God. You're giving something else the respect that only Allah is deserving of. Again, human destiny is determined by Allah, not the moon and the stars. Astrology can also be seen as superstition and sorcery. And again, which are more things that are haram with Islam, that we don't believe in superstitions. We don't have fear with anything. That you can step on a crack and nothing's gonna happen because again, you're not giving that power. You're not giving random joke power. Because again, the only thing that you give power to in your life is the creator. And in our society nowadays, people do give power to so many different things. People give power and energy to things that shouldn't be getting the power and respect. Because the only thing you should be afraid of, the only thing you should worship is your creator. You shouldn't be worshiping money. You shouldn't be worshiping celebrities. You should have that spiritual inclination and focus to worship the creator, the creator of every single last thing that exists. Lastly, Islam encourages using your time wisely. And if you're spending your time reading horoscopes and believing in them, then you're not spending your time wisely. So again, the resource of time, which is again the most valuable thing we have, we're spending it on what? reading the moon, the stars, and thinking that Mercury retrograde is making me a jerk of a person? No. Again, your character is by who you are as an individual, the morals and guidelines you follow. Not because Mercury was in retrograde and Venus was rotating around the sun this much faster than last year. You know, that's kind of the mentality to have. And understanding this Islamically and spiritually is to understand yourself and to be the best version of yourself. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to ask. Me personally, again, I'm someone who, when I was younger, obviously you look at horoscopes and be like, yeah, I'm an Aries, I am confident, and you feel these things. But again, these are just broad statements that make you feel the Barnum effect, where these things are happening to you and you believe it because it's such a vague description of what it is. But again, focus on yourself, focus on your character, and understand that with everything, with effort, with guidance, you can get any sort of characteristic in this life you want. You can get things in this life. Just follow God and know who you are as an individual. It doesn't have anything to do with the moon and the stars.
And inshallah, I'll see you guys next week on another video where I can talk about anything Islamically or spiritual. I look forward to seeing what you guys think in the comments. And if there's anything I might have missed, please feel free to add it in the comments as well. I look forward to seeing you guys again for another video next week, inshallah. Have a good one.